have their chances here as we head into Mirage. It's obviously going to be a tough game against a team like Tyloo, regardless of who is on their roster. You know Tyloo is going to be one of the big boys within Asia. But Marzali is certainly taking the gauntlet that has been thrown at them and running with it and giving Tyloo a really good challenge. Yeah, Marzali, here we go. They're starting out pretty quickly here onto the CT side of Mirage. Somebody throwing a decoy into mid-window there early on. Maybe trying to bait something out. And it's looking like a bit of a palace explode here for Tyloo. Two sets of utility here. Smokes onto the right side. Looks like uh, connector and jungle, as we saw for Vichy. Yeah, so Goo goes down early. It's to Dan King. And Zilkenberg, under a lot of pressure by Triple, gets flashed out by somebody. And the rest of Tyloo pretty much runs over the A site. Machine Gun's hiding behind Jungle Smoke here, but in reality, two on four, Bomb Plant goes down. Tyloo, seeming like they have a pretty good grasp of the pistols here against Marzali. Either way, Machine Gun takes the head off of somebody. And a two on three, certainly more winnable than a two on four. Yeah, Planted Triple, a lot of these is plucking uh -oh. their heads one at a time. It's on to Attacker, one on one, News is oh. on his head, and somehow he wins that aim duel. Attacker got like the first three or four shots, but he didn't actually get the kill, and so Ty Lu, they find a way to lose the four on two. <laughs> it's got a ring to it. Yeah. Not in a good way. <laughs> I feel like it's a situation we might have seen before. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Those weren't the most, best post plants I've ever seen, Jordan. I'll give you that. No. Even still, a four on two. Ooh, they're going to force. AK force. Can't blame them. Bomb plant. Plenty of kills for Ty Lu. So two rifles, deagles and armor. Dan King saving a bit of money in the back pocket to be able to buy an AWP later on. Full utility for slowly. Hi Luke. Slowly working around the map. Four MP9s and a Famous are uh, not going to have a good time against armored AK players. Most times. Or even Dan King with the deagle. Pretty scary with that gun. Machine Gun will work his way up short here into a ladder room. I don't know that there's going to be too much presence toward the B-bomb site, just based on the way that Tyloo is set up here. If Sogu gets a little bit itchy and pushes into Palace, that'll be where I think Marzali has some troubles, because Summer certainly is ready and waiting for that. Yeah, Tyloo in Palace and Ramp, starting to edge towards Connector in middle. Beginning to start to... Again, this A split, I guess. Sloan said he wins the race, but maybe not for Tyloo. That would be the case for Marzali, who have been quite stoic on their bomb site for now. Attacker with the AK, though, is going to be the danger man, and this doesn't look like he's quite doing enough. Does get it down into a two on one, though. It was a three on one, so remember that. If Attacker's able to win this round, we grant him a three on one clutch. Even still, a lot of work to be done, and with only 30 seconds left on the clock, Attacker not only has to retrieve the bomb, but find two CTs in doing so. And they're in great positions to be able to trade each other. News just plucks his head off straight away, upgrades to the AK, and Marzali deal with that force fairly straightforwardly. Just keep two guns alive, and I would assume they're going to be starting this anti-eco here. If they do so, pretty... <laughs> oh, machine guns got dualies. You'll have to see it. I don't know if I do. <laughs> what do you mean? He's only going up against Armored Deagle players. What could go wrong? Nothing. Nothing in the whole wide world Look could at go him. wrong. Possibly. How could you not trust in that man? I trust that man with my firstborn child. Well, they are headed in the direction of the B-bomb site here, Ty Lu, So it could actually come to play a little bit. Look at that stance. Oh, oh <laughs> no! Oh, uh, no. That's a way to get shut out of the server with the duelies. Well, when you asked me what could possibly go <laughs> wrong, I really didn't expect it to be that. Oh, man, Dan King. This man's sharp. Yeah, he has basically just sat machine gun. That's unbelievable. Zilkenberg aware that slowly could be here and does dispatch of that one quite easily. Dan King won't be able to follow up that excitement with a kill onto news, and so, look, the round, it seems to have settled down a little bit here, which is good news for Marzali. Sogu in towards triple here, backs into CT, starts to hear some of these Tyloo players 
Heading onto this bomb site, we'll be joined up by Zilkenberg. Easy kills in the side of the head for the man. Bit of aim prac, really, for Sogu there. Zilkenberg will finish off the final one. 3 and 0 on the board. Marzali happy with the proceedings so far. But this is where we're going to get to see a buy out from that T site. Alrighty. So, first gun round. Marzali off to a good start on the CT site here. Continuing to test Tai Lu in this series. What is that? Right at the last second. Great adjustment. Quick play into mid from Tai Lu. They're looking for some control there. The utility's going to get thrown into the window. This time it's a molly, not a smoke. Same approach as Dust2. You are really seeing Attacker slowly and Dan King are the sort of three-man pack working for map control. Last time it was Catwalk. This time it's Connector and Window. While Summer and Somebody hold the extremities on either side of the map. Dan King going to start to get active. Not sure if he was spotted by Mara there in window. But if he wasn't, he's got a massive opportunity to be able to get himself some freebies here. Yeah, Dan King really seems like he's taking the entry role here in Tai Lu. And he's doing a pretty good job of it, I would say. There's one on to Sogu. He's going to creep around perhaps behind Zilkenberg here, who would be aware that that's a possibility, but still doesn't win the aim duel. Dan King's on a tear. He's got three. The A bomb site's ripped open, and it really is all just down to Dan King. Bomb plant going down. Okay. Well, Dan King's done it all on his own, Jordan. You love to see it. Yep. Just been boosted up in window. He's found the timing. And uh, I have to say, Mara, he had one job, and he's let the boys down. Unfortunate. Machine gun in a position to potentially cause some problems for somebody who never stops moving forward. The trade not quite there from attacker just yet. They're looking to get rid of machine gun's weapon. That is for sure. You can see slowly making his way up short on the map there. Putting a bit of pressure onto news, but it seems the be AKs will go through to the next round there for Marzali. So money stays fairly intact for the CT side, Dan King gets himself another MVP. Very sharp work with the AK. Definitely capable of using it. As proficiently as the AWP this man. Tyloo get one back. So now, Marzali's economy on the ropes a little. Definitely would not be how they'd want to be losing that first gun round in a fashion like that. See if they can recover. It's okay as long as you win the second. <laughs> Don't know if I really subscribe to that thought process. Well, it's much better than losing the second as well. <laughs> That's where your problems really start. Because your money's broken. True. Ty Lu. Very passive, very reserved on this T side. Really running quite a standard default. Just trying to figure out what Marzali is setting up like on the CT side. Somebody in summer on the extremities. Smoke into window. Attacker starting to move his way up with slowly and Dan King. Looking like they want control of ladder room this time Ooh. around. The boost onto machine gun dealt very well with by slowly. Yeah, who also checks out ladder room. News re-aggresses, however. Has to go through the incendiary, which gave slowly an inkling of what was going on. Mara falls. Good check by attacker. Great flash from and somebody. Poor old Sogu now is going to be in a spot of bother. That's going to go the way of attacker as well. What an entry. Not just one entry, but three from attacker. It really seems like Tai Lu. They're like, okay, whose turn is it to find a 3k on the entry this round? Oh, Dan King? Okay, you, you have your turn, buddy. And then next round, okay, yeah, it's Taka's turn. Let him go and do it all. That's really what it's coming down to. That what it's like. It's like a crazy game of duck, duck, goose. Mm. The uh, coach is just walking around with his hand. He's like duck, duck, goose. This time it's attacker. MVP for attacker. No surprises there. Gets three opening frags in the round. Tyloo up three to two. This is the problem, though, for Marzali. It was obviously not great to lose the first gun round, but even worse to lose the second, because now 
they're on the USPs. And yeah. I think it's somebody's turn here to find a few frags, so we'll let him do uh, the honors this time. There's one, two, three, and four, and that's another round for Tai Lu. I'll give you one guess who gets the MVP out of this one. Ah, uh, somebody. Wait, who? <laughs> somebody gets it. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> not sure who, but it's somebody. Yeah, somebody's <laughs> going to get it. That is true. Three and three. The buy comes through for Marzali, but lacking an AWP, and News also has to go back onto an MP9, which I will say he has actually been pretty good with uh, when we watched us too. So I don't know if we can count that out before we really see it in the round. Well, might be a bit of a change up here for Tai Lu. Looking like they want to go for a bit of an A execute this time around. Somebody is the man towards Palace. Aggression in middle. Mara and Machine Gun getting some control over there. Zilkenberg going to be the main man at A, supported by Sogu, who hasn't got any flashbanks to be able to help him out. Just a smoke, which will be real re-thrown onto A ramp. Tyloo throwing the execute out. Nice timing, Zilkenberg. No respect. Yeah, has an AK now, and that's problematic for Tyloo because they have many angles to deal with. Danking does get Zilkenberg, but now down on 20% of his HP. Oh, machine gun on the flank. He was top mid so early on. Yeah, not looking great here at all for Tyloo. They really needed some faster entries to the bomb site. They won't get them. Summer's wrapped on by Machine Gun, and that is the end of the round. Four to three for Marzali, actually. Beautiful. Sogu gets the MVP, but I would give the MVP to everyone, Jordan. That's really kind of you. Can we give it to Marzali? Yep. Thanks. Full buy to come, though, from Tyloo again. Danking opts for the AWP this time, so we may see a change up in that respect. Where does he go and what does he do? He goes and he kills. That's usually how it works for Dan King. Tyloo, lots of money in the bank after a pretty good run of things, but they are down four and three. Still plenty of buyers left in him. Nice flashes pushing Zilk off the, li the line, who's got his hands on an AWP. Like he's going to reposition towards short, which honestly could definitely work. Could get him a pick. And with machine gun in towards ladder, I'd say that's a pretty good opportunity that Marzali might be able to take advantage of. But attacker, well timed Molotov. And slowly he's going to be working his way into ladder. I don't know if he's going to be flashed in though, which means machine gun might have himself a little bit of a freebie. There's a flash into ladder, but Ooh. machine gun's got the best of that one. Machine gun's got the freebie anyway. Zilkenberg was also watching short, so had anything sort of arose, he might have had the opportunity for a refrag. Tanking doesn't quite hold the line long enough to get the free kill into Machine Gun, as we see News pushing out. <sighs> Look at Marzali. Marzali. They're, pl it, they're playing like they're playing an underdog team right now. They're giving them Tyloo no respect. They're just pushing all of the extremities. They're flanking. Well, there's a lot of info in the fact that there is no info there for News. He doesn't see anyone in T-Spawn. Starts to work his way through to the A bomb site. And Tyloo, they look like they're going to commit to A. They're certainly not going B. Zilkenberg, shotgun orbs, attacker, and then gets punished for his transgressions. But it is a two on oh, four. Oh, so Soku just hoses them down. That spray control is very impressive. Yep, of course. Why not? Give him all the MPPs. Give me the MVP for best voice crack. <laughs> it's been, been a long day of casting, Jordan. Has been. Back to the MAC-10 for slowly. Tyloo can still scrounge together a buy, though. And it's not really that ideal here for Marzali to be going up against something like this, because this is where Tyloo is liable to just throw something random at them. <laughs> They've been playing two standard, and this is where it's going to come in. It's going to be a B execute. Pressure onto Machine Gun and News. Machine Gun, still the Molotov left to throw out. Smoke start to fly in, and he drops it. Smoke dropped by News. Oh, machine Gun not getting his gun out in time. It does not matter, though. Zilkenberg continues the solid work with the AWP, and that is 6-3 to three for Marzali, who are looking like more than a match for Tai Lu. At least at the moment, and it's hard to believe right now that Tyloo actually won Dust 2 because Marzali come into the second map and look like the better team. They're banging. We love to see it. They're starting to get their economy rolling here. Three gun rounds in a row is no easy feat versus a T side of Tyloo on Mirage. But they made it look very convincing. 
And now Ty Lu going to take a time out. That Keck, was... Keck W in chat, please. No. <laughs> it was a good try. <laughs> <laughs> What do you suppose is the discussion here? Obviously, their economy is a bit broken. Down six to three on the T side of Mirage, their own map choice. Things are definitely not going to plan here for Tyler. No. Gotta remember, it is their first official playing with this roster. Oh, don't show it to me again. Ooh. That was sexy. Oh. Mwah. Never do that again. Gorgeous. That's creeping me out. <laughs> It's creeping me out, man. There you go. That's why. That's why uh, Gomez would put you on his Asian Dream Team, Sogu. Yeah. Is that what he said? That's what he said. Really? Wow. I don't remember that. Sogu is pretty good. He's so good. Oh. Almost expected Mara to get that spray transfer as well onto the bottom player, but not able to. Get that done. Either way, Sogu is always finding a way to get involved in the round. This time, he's traded down by Summer, so no 3k for him. He did get a few Keck Ws in the chat, by the way. <laughs> oh, my boys. Although, the thing is, like, I think you could just say, say something in chat and people will do it. Even if you're not funny. Just, like, say forehead if you think Philly's not funny. And I guarantee you, half the chat's going to be spamming forehead in about a couple of minutes. Cool. It's your support that really means the world. Mm. M4 in hand for attacker. I suppose right now, Tyler were rather eager to take that through to the next round. How cool is Marzali's logo, by the way? Yeah. I read a fact that Ma a Marzali is actually a bear in Mongolia, like some sort of bear that's going extinct. I'm not sure if that's true. That's like a cool storyline. But if we get an interview with uh, one of the Mars Live players, I am going to ask that. Probably look like an idiot when they say, no, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, could you repeat? <laughs> that's what I'm expecting out of a sheet gun. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, look at him go. Was that it? Was that what you were expecting? He just looks like he's ready to give the Tyloo team a big bear hug. Big Mars Live hug. Well, Ty Lu on the ropes at the moment here on Mirage. Seven and three up for Marzali. Ty Lu going to put another buy on the board. Look at how many foreheads are in the chat right now. Absolute insanity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough fun. You guys can go back to spamming noob casters now. Okay, Ty Lu into round 11 have got a gun round. And I'd have to actually say, I almost feel like this is a must win okay. for them. News does cop the bullet in the head, though, That's from confident. somebody. That's very confident. I think that's a bit of a case of... Oh, look, Sogu's pushed Palace as well. Mm, I think they're just trying to get under Ty Lu's skin at this point. They know how far ahead of they are economically. Is it getting under Ty Lu's skin, though? I think it would. I think it really would. Sure it's not playing into their hands? No, I don't think so. Like, I think if you're the best team in the region and then, like, Marzali is just like, we're going to disrespect you and it starts to work, I feel like you start to, you're probably going to get a bit frustrated. Hasn't worked in this round for Marzalite. Well, I don't know. Soku's in a pretty good position. If Tyloo just doesn't go B here, then there's a maybe. There's a big maybe on this round. Well, they haven't actually really been going to B. This is a good, like, this is great, honestly. These are great positions for Marzalite to be able to shut down an A split. Like, so this might actually be happening. He's caught Summer there. He's got the chance here for more, even though he's on 8 HP. An AWP in his hands is still a deadly weapon. Mara! Oh, no. Tyloo at least are able to trade that down. I thought it was going to be far worse for them. But Sogu peeks out from Tetris. And what more could you have asked for as a Marzali? That is definitely a tilter of a round. I tell you, it looks like a man advantage. But in reality, the positions that Marzali are in, they are shutting, uh, like, a high percentage to shut down that A split, and it's looking like they're about to do it. Eight seconds on the clock. There you go. So wow. good. The, the, that's just insanity. They push into Palace and B apps, and they just go, well, if somebody dies, then whatever, but, like, we've got somebody behind enemy lines. 
if both of them die, they go, oh, well, let me just wipe my tears with all this money I have from winning the last five <laughs> rounds. <laughs> I don't know how many tears there really are here for Mars Alive. There's, there's probably a, a few for more Tyloo. for Tyloo. Yeah. Bloody hell. This is disrespect. This is a disrespectful play style. I love it. It's crazy. When is the last time an Asian team has had the balls to disrespect Tyloo? Tell me. Also known as the Gobi bear, is a go. subspecies of the brown bear found in Mongolia. Well, there goes one of my questions for the interview. Wow. That was you'll have actually to, my only you'll question. Have to think of it I've got nothing else. How did you win? <laughs> How did you do it? How are you so confident? That's probably a good question, you know. Is that kind of the game plan that Marzali came into this one with? Or is it just something that sort of happened on the fly and they're like, hey, it's working? You saw news do it last map. The man was pushing up short on T side. He was pushing up a dark on, on the CT side. It's not just been this map. This is not a recent develop from from Marzali. Mm -hmm. They've been doing it all series long. Back to square one for Ty Loop. Deagles and armor. Still a deadly weapon. Still something that Marzali can't really afford to get too far ahead of themselves against. I wanted to say that they can't afford to disrespect, but in reality, Marzali have just been disrespecting Ty Lu regardless of what gun they've had. So I don't think they're going to stop against Deagles. Zilkenberg does catch Summer early on in the piece. Sogu here on a nice line. That's a pretty good spray down as he does a fair chunk of damage to that second player as well. And somebody can't get anything else done. It's looking too good right now for Marzali. Nine and three, losing one gun. These Mongolians really starting to put Tyloo in the dirt on their map pick. Don't see a 9-3 and three on the CT side. <laughs> Roots, berries, <laughs> plants, and sometimes rodents. It's kind of like your diet. Yeah. I mostly just eat pho and drink coffee, to be honest. Bit of sushi, bit of Korean food. Oh, Sogu's pushing up mid. Oh, He's got a two-man spray God. down. A two-man spray down against Attacker and Summer, two of the most storied players in the Asian region. And then Summer, our news has just decided he's an AWPA. It's just going to watch somebody run right into oh. news. He gets another one, and why not on for the third? Come on, Dan King, give him the chance. Come on! <laughs> why is he standing still? Machine it's going to be machine gun. gun. Closes it out. Wow. My God. 10 and 3. There's another one for Sogu. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God, it's like rolling back the years, Jordan. It really is. 2015 all over again here in Asia on the road to Rio. It's a real spanner in the works for Tyloo. 10 and 3. And you start to think now, okay, well, the half is no longer really salvageable, even if they get to 5. They've just been demolished by Marzali. One way in window for Zilk. Doesn't manage to capitalize because of it. Pushed off of the line. News trying to get onto a line, but he's smoked off. So both of the orbs sort of neutralized here to some extent for Marzali. Unless News is just going to no scope someone through a smoke. Almost got there. And look at this push by Sogu. He's pushed into Palace. He's pushed up mid. Now he's pushed into A Rap, Jordan. This is what we're supposed to be seeing from Tai Lu. He the just CG doesn't side. care. Look at him. Yes, you don't. When it's working, you don't. Well, Silk's gone down, so I wouldn't be surprised to see the push continue. Nice little off angle from News, I have to say. Yeah, pretty sharp with that orb. Machine Gun's been good so far today as Ooh. well, but he's deleted from the server by somebody, and this is much more to the expectations of how this series should have gone. Tyloo walk their way into the B bomb site. No worries at all. It's a good round for them to get. They definitely do not want to leave this gap too large. So picking up these two rounds towards the tail end of the half would help them to try to continue to keep things competitive. Whereas, let's say they go down 12-3 and Marzali takes that T pistol and continues this ridiculous confidence on the T side. You might be looking at a pretty quick uh, loading screen into train mm. at that point. Solid slowly gets a freebie on Tamara. It's not a big deal here for Marzali to be losing guns. So they won't be too concerned by that. Actually, Look at the it's kind of bad that Tyloo loses the guns. Yeah, I was going to say. 
Uh, I don't know. Is it going to hurt the utility too much? No. It's got just enough money to be able to buy up the full util on everybody. Attacker's looking like he has to go down. He's going to buy Tech 9. Could have afforded the Galil. Probably could have afforded an AK if... Uh, oh, no. Never mind. There was an AK on the ground. It's, it's getting to that point, Jordan, where a, a lot of maps deep now. Anyway, into the 15th round. Can Tyloo scrape themselves five rounds into the T side of their own map pick? Keep themselves alive here. Singular orb this time around for Zilk. The double push into A ramp once again. Mara and Sogu gathering info. Zilk's walking around in mid like nothing's happening. By himself with an orb. Like it's a pug. No support whatsoever. Full confidence. Is he going to get a pick? Surely not. It's kind of looking like slowly is headed in that direction. Oh, oh you could have sworn shot. that would have connected. I think he was just moving a little. Yeah. So that's mid control for Tai Lu. At least they're starting to gain it. They're, they're, they're playing so scared at the moment. This push into Palace may be punished by Summer, though. How has Sogu gotten away with that? What? an exchange oh, of damage. Mara's deep in a ramp. <laughs> oh my god. Someone's kind of expecting this, I think. He's looking I, around. No. Whoa. Oh, he should not be allowed to get away with that. Dirty, dirty from Summer. That could have been a round winning fight for him to win. Slowly, however, just walks up short into B and he gets a double kill as well. The Tai Lu boys are back, but is it too late in the half? 10 and 5 is the best scoreline that they're going to be able to achieve. Sogu and Machine Gun will try to stop that, but it is a difficult task indeed for them and won't be possible. Tyloo-esque, and that's why I say they're getting a taste of their own medicine because really, it was the kind of game where you expected it would be Tyloo on this CT side, somebody pushing every angle. But in fact, it's Marzali, and they're the ones that are up 10 and 5 now going into the second half. Mm, they were up 10 and 3 though, and letting Tyloo come in with two rounds towards the tail end of the half, you definitely cannot be counting them out. Dangerous stuff to be giving Tai Lu a little bit too much room to work with. Somebody is doing what somebody does, and Machine Gun is very aware of it. That is the B site, completely open, as the rotation is coming across from Summer, but not there yet. And you can see, Mars alive. They're not in a rush to be going anywhere. News ready to punish this push into Palace if he picks his timing correctly. Just hiding in the corner here. Should be a freebie onto Dan King for sure. Easy as you like for news. Tap in the side of the head, and that's a two-man advantage for Marzali. Yeah. They, I think they spent most of the last half doing exactly that, so they should be well aware that that's a possibility, and they punish it correctly. And Tyloo just getting a little bit too eager to start the half off, it seems. I mean, you expect it from somebody. I guess you expect it from Dan King as well. Maybe Marzali have done their research. They've been looking into some of the Tyloo demos and uh, trying to figure out how they're going to play as a new roster. Marzali, 40 seconds on the clock. Summer goes down as Sogu punishes him in towards middle there of window, looking for some information. They are heading to A, though, and this is where Slowly and Attacker are still holding. Look, the round, it looks over, but it's not over just yet, and a grenade goes sailing into Ooh. CT spawn. Oh. Here is Slowly and Attacker. Well, this is what I'm talking about. Slowly was good with the USP on Dust 2. Now the bomb is stuck under balcony, and there's 20 seconds left on the clock. It's dangerous now for Marzali into the 1v1. Attacker gets into the A connector. And News is on 10 HP. Surely he can't win this round. My God. 2 on 5. They've thrown it in the bin, Jordan. Slowly and attacker with the USPs. Unbelievable. That's slowly two rounds with those CT pistols with the USP. He's able to have immense amounts of impact. And that's going to put Tyloo in the driver's seat here. You know what? If Tyloo end up winning this map, I'm going to bring it down to this. Like, Marzali had it on a silver platter. They have the map on a silver platter. You're up 10-5. You've got the pistol round. Five on two. And somehow, you find a way to lose it. Dan King's got his trusty scout out again. And he is very good with that weapon, as you can see. He's barely missed a shot. That's a pretty clean anti-eco from Tyloo. Hmm. Marzali, like, towards the tail end of that last half, let a couple of rounds get away from them. They've let that pistol get away from them. Now Tyloo's money's looking pretty strong. 
and they are uh, maybe starting to pick up a little bit of confidence. Yep. That's it's a, a dangerous uh, game to play. Yep, that's exactly right. Let's see if Marzali can stop them in the tracks right here and now on their first T gun round. Very familiar with Mirage, these lads. Should know exactly what they're going for. No pressure towards middle early on. Looking like they're waiting for some pushes out of Tyloo. Machine gun guarding that palace area. News towards B apartments. Making sure no one's pushing the extremities. Zilkenberg now starting to make his way towards underpass. Still a minute 20 to work with, but Marzali, not a single tippy toe has touched middle yet. Now you're starting to see them shift in that direction. Starting to see them fall into that common 1 3 1 formation and potentially start to see them try to take control of Connect Up. There's the smoke onto Top Con, smoke into window. Zilkerberg left alone in middle to see what he can make happen as the rest of Marzali fall back towards this A side of the map where Slowly and Dan King lie in wait. Very passive position from attacker in market here, so no control over jungle or window for Tai Lu. You do have the push through apartments from somebody giving them a lot of information though. He's flanking underpass now. Not much time left to work with here for Marzali, and Dan King has already killed Sogu. If he traded back on down, but they haven't dealt with slowly yet. He can't see through the flames too well and won't calibrate the aim on Tamara. So the bomb plant does go down, but somebody walking out from Connector. He's helped out by Summer, and there is really nothing left to be done here for Machine Gun. If they sat the defuse right now, they'd win the round, Tyloo. But they're actually going to stuff around a little bit, look for the kit. Machine Gun maybe has a chance here. He's going to have to hit some clean shots. It was always going to be tough. Someone finishes it off. He was low HP, and Tyloo grabbed their eighth. And that's three in a row for them now. Wasn't on that a two on four? The CT side, it may well have been. It's another round where Marzali, they definitely could have taken that one out, but unfortunately haven't been able to convert somebody making a Famous look like a viable weapon. Very scary. Coming up connected there from that B flank. Great timing on that flank as well. Definitely key to giving Tyloo the information they needed to be in the correct positions. Might see some aggression up short this time from Tyloo. They've sent three players toward B. Oh, oh, that's Crisp from Zilkenberg. And now he's off for the races, but straight into attackers AK. A headshot there to shut him down. There was a moment of excitement for Marzali, but he was really the only one there in the apartments, and so it was going to be on him to make the magic happen, and he just couldn't quite make that into a reality. Slowly an attacker, shutting down Mara and Yuz respectively. The round returns to normalcy. For the time being. Chain gun punish for that palace push. So good cleaned up by Slowly. Tyloo, four guns surviving. Pretty straightforward anti-eco. Outside of a nice eagle shot from Zilkenberg. Marzali heading into another gun round, but Tyloo starting to pick up some steam here for sure. CC sided team. I think it's a double warp out of some out of uh, somebody this time around out of Tyloo. That's interesting. Well, we have seen him take it towards the B apartments many times on this Tyloo team, and it will be the mid push actually here from Tyloo. Decent damage with the HE grenades. Attacker gets aggressive into mid. He'll have the backup of Summer, but that's not too exciting for the Tai Lu guys. Slowly, at the very least, did get news who was creeping his way up Connector. So it's all even as far as the trades are concerned for now. Marzali making a quick rotate to A. Dan King on towards Triple. Ooh, timing's no good for them at all. Machine Gun just walks out. Dan King cops a bullet in the head. Now slowly has some work to do. Molotov is not quite deep enough to get into Firebox, so Machine Gun will find Solus there. But Slowly is doing so much damage on this cross. Even if he dies, maybe somebody has a chance. Damage is sent right back in the direction of Tyloo as well. This is another gun round where Marzali have looked damn competitive, and finally they've been able to push it over the line. The pistol should have been theirs. That last gun round should have been theirs. They threw away those opportunities. 
But we're seeing some consistency of getting themselves in great positions here, Marzala, and finally they've been able to capitalise on one of them. It's a pretty smart save from Tai Lu as well, though. You know, five and a bit there for slowly. Not a whole lot at all for somebody, but with the money that they're going to get out of this round, uh, they should afford a pretty good buy, assuming they take these two guns through, which they will. Dan King's going to cop the AWP there from somebody. He'll be able to drop a rifle over. Summer will be able to fully buy for himself and slowly will also actually even be able to drop an AWP. So they've gone into the double AWP here, Tyloo, once again. Didn't work out at all last round, but I guess they didn't really have much of a chance. Not a great crack at it. So give it a second go before putting it to bed. Yep. And 11 to 9 is the scoreline. So Marzali do just enhance that round differential a little bit before Tyloo can peg things back. But, you know, I, I kind of get the same feeling as what I do here on Dust 2 in that we are going to have a very close map. Marzali, pretty passive start to the round. Definitely can't blame them for that, especially with some of these pushes coming out of Tyloo time and time again. It's actually two orbs set up in middle. Somebody posted on top mid and dan danking in towards underpass. Deep A ramp control in the favor of Tai Lu. Marzali still yet to put a foothold into this round. Smoke will be heading into window from spawn thrown out by Zilkerberg. Flash over the top to send Mara and Sogu into somebody. Somebody avoids those quite comfortably and Mara cannot do anything. He can't do buggery. He's dead. It's four on five. Double up this time having an impact. Miles Alive forcing their way into middle. He's trying to spam through that wood over towards B Apartments. It's looking like Miles Alive want to try to close this one out with a B split. Want to try to make something happen. Not sure that's going to be a fun task against the AWP of somebody. Bit of utility going to be thrown into the site. Doesn't look like they'll really be too problematic for the remaining Tai Lu players. Summer holding the long angle with an M4, tapping away at the head of Sogu. He's trying to get the dirty work done, and he more or less has. It's just a final blow that has to be stuck in there, courtesy of somebody. Both of the B players get two kills apiece. Somebody ends up with three, and Tai Lu's back to 10-11. Easy round looking like from them. Somebody easy pick at the start. And like you said, it's a dynamic duo. The two veterans from Tai Lu absolutely shutting that B play down from Marzali. It was desperation in the four on five for them to go for it. It definitely did not work. So now Marzali probably going to be looking at a singular eco here, which means Tai Lu will be evening up the score. Another bloody close map here, Jordan, between these two sides. Oh, it's good to see. Competition in Group B is not exactly what we really expected. That looked like the weaker group, but Marzali might be making us second guess ourselves. See how their brethren on D13 are performing. It looks like that series might be over. Camel Riders. Camel Riders 2 0 D13 in. Pretty convincing fashion, actually. 16-6 and 16-9. But as you said, that is against D13, who would be probably considered third or fourth in this group, based on who you asked. This is the big matchup. Marzali versus Tai Lu. Marzali trying to change things up. Sort of a half buy from them. I think like they want to try to explode out of Palace, flash over the top, pushes slowly off the line. Nice couple of shots to start things off here for Tai Lu, but News just goes running up connector. He's got a Tech 9 in hand, and sometimes Ooh. it's been called a Rec 9. And News letting us know why. He will eventually get shut down. Dan King misses the shot there onto Machine Gun, and it's now both of the orbs. What a ballsy repeat from somebody. Yeah, I mean, he misses that shot, or one or two more uh, bullets connected from Machine Gun. He goes down here into a one-on-one. -on -one. Starting to uh, get some talking points. Regardless, though, Tai Lu, they even things up 11 apiece, but they did sustain some economic losses in that last round, and you could see the toll being taken on their top three players on the right side of the screen there. So, definitely not untouchable here on this comeback train, but they've had a very convincing half so far, at least in terms of the round count. 
In terms of how the, some of the rounds have been going, though, Mars alive, very much alive here on Mirage. Dan King will fire a couple of shots through the smoke there, but won't connect onto too much. Zilkenberg looking worse for wear in apartments, and now news is as well as he gets buried in the underpass. It's like the Paris catacombs almost. I guess that would have been a bit more relevant if there was a French team playing. Yeah. Interesting to see Zilkenberg just go and challenge somebody multiple times with a deagle with an AWP. Trying to exploit him on the uh, on the extremities. Oh, attacker could actually get caught by this molly. He'll take a tick, but he does just get across fine. Repeaks to challenge Sogu and does a little damage, but not enough to survive. Zilkenberg and Sogu against Summer and Danking. The Tai Lu guys are a little bit healthier here as the bomb plant will slowly go down. CT smoked by the CTs. Yeah. Oh, that's actually a big brain play. Zilkenberg, he looks away. Summer has just totally outthought him. He's used the smoke as a one way, and this is not a plant for Sogu. Flushed off the line will allow Summer to cross, and he's just going to hold the defuse. Dan King's got him covered. Great work in the two on two. Smoke, self-smoke on CT, and then you use it as a one-way. Yeah. And that is now the first time that Tyloo have actually been ahead on Mirage. 12 to 11. So... It was 10-3. It was 10-3. Yeah. Tells a bit of a story, doesn't it? 9 and 1, Tyloo has had. So this has been, I mean, some of the rounds have been damn close, Jordan, but this has been one-sided in these last 10 rounds. Mara going to make a quick play happen into the A bomb site. I'm not sure this is what Marzalai are looking for. Is this the final desperation attempt to make something work on this T side? And if it is, I'd say they're scraping the bottom of the barrel right now, Marzalai, because that has not worked out very nicely at all. News gets one frag, but it's not particularly enjoyable in the end for him as he gets traded back on down and Machine Gun is all alone. 1v4. Not really a winnable situation for the man, but it's a question of damage. The more kills he can get onto these CTs, he puts Marzali closer to a reset potential down the line and slowly he's going to feed him his first. Hmm. Every kill here is expensive for Tai Lu. They have decent money, but not fantastic just yet. Still has to commit to the A bomb site. This bomb has been dropped there, and somebody awaits with the AWP. Can they collect the secondary? No, they didn't quite get there in time. So that's going to have to be repurchased by Tai Lu if they want it, which they do. Half by again, out of Marzali. A few AK and armors, a few pistols and utility. Definitely could work, particularly against a double AWP setup if you're able to catch the right pacing. Smoke into window and top mid from Marzali. Yep. News has also got himself a smoke towards Unders at the moment. Zilkenberg again, trying to get under somebody's skin. But uh, he's going to fall back. Double walkthrough underpass here for Marzali. Sogu makes his way through middle. Wide peak from attacker in the mid round is very successful. Danking's actually gone down and handed news an AWP. Well, Danking certainly not uh, having as much of an impact here on Mirage as he did on Dust 2. Really was the standout there. Somebody 15 for 15, doing okay for himself. Slowly has actually been really impressive here on Mirage. A lot of impactful frags in really critical rounds as well. Kind of pulling Tai Lu, kicking and screaming through some of these rounds. Machine Gun trying to take that fight in towards window. 45 seconds on the clock. He's trying to make his way into a critical position where he could actually bring this round back in the favour of Mars alive. If he's able to find attacker towards Firebox here, that would be the critical frag. Is he going to check it? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. An attacker has seen the shadow, so he'll just creep out behind Machine Gun. Oh, no. Ooh, let's slowly actually die there. So attacker... Could be in the bad books if he ends up dying oh, to news. No. 
That's what I'm talking about. Zilkenberg's locking down the murder hole. There's a smoke. And somebody's going to creep through it, but Zilkenberg's right behind him. Oh, no. How? How? How, how? <laughs> how has this gone so wrong for Tai Lu? You know it's bad when we're saying the exact same word at the exact same time, Pilski. But maybe Summer can salvage something. It is not easy, though. The Orps trained on his position. He has a defuse kit granted, but no smoke, no flash, nothing. And he runs right into news. Where did that round go? I don't have the answer for you, Jordan. I don't know if it was a rhetorical question or not. A half by Adam Marzali. They've lost every round up until this point. Danking is dissing out a spanking. Credit where credit's due. That is master, master stroke. Yep. <laughs> Think of a few more words that can rhyme with danking, but maybe not safe for broadcast. Tyloo have gone back onto a very, very shaky looking economic position. They get an okay buy here. But this will be their last for an eco. And this is where good CT sides go to die, Pilly. They're running out of utility pretty fast here, Tai Lu. No orps. Oh, only the orp on Danking. No double orps this time around. Marzali is starting to make their way through middle. Tilkenberg poking up towards the top of Connector. Doesn't find himself any kills. Marzali, four players in middle, smoke onto the top of Connector, smoke into window again. Are going to start to pressure towards ladder room and cleaned out Summer very easily. Nice little 1B from Mara there. Now somebody's oh, gone down as no. well. There's absolutely no one towards V, Jordan. Oh, no. You can really see where this is going, can't you, Pilly? Tyloo, I mean, you have to save right now, don't you? Money is terrible. They're going to go to 13-13. Marzali on the T side have got that economic advantage that we spoke about on Dust 2. It's a total role reversal. This time, it's Marzali that are coming back into the swing of things. But they have the advantage of the economy. Tai Lu scraping the bottom of the barrel. Really felt unfair that Marzali ended up losing Dust 2. They might be able to get some revenge here on Mirage. They'd be playing very, very well. Even if they were to lose this, this series, They've played really well here. And at the end of the day, if they go through in first, they go through in second, and they play well against Tai Lu, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for Marzali either way. They've definitely shown a good performance. Yep. The question and the name of the game for Marzali really is consistency, though. So, I mean, even if they win or lose here versus Tai Lu, Cowboy Riders, a massive question mark. They just showed a pretty decent performance. And D13... It's a domestic matchup, Jordan. Mm. It's not always cut and dry uh, for an inconsistent team like Mars Light. They have been getting the best of Tiger as of late, though, so that's no easy feat either. Maybe that's why they're showing such good form into a game like this. If your domestic rival is quite a talented team like Tiger is, and they're really pushing you all the time, of course you're going to improve. Yeah, I mean, I would say this is the strongest that Mongolian Counter-Strike has been as a region. So that can only bode well. And it's not just like there's Marzali Tiger in D13. There's actually a few more teams that play in all of these kinds of qualifiers underneath them as well, you know. So maybe and there's some more talent. A few of the guys at D13 are very young. they got a couple of, like, 17-year-old talents in there. Oh! Slowly. <laughs> That's a drive-by, yep. and not a slow one at all. He's literally stapled machine gun to death. Nice little boost on the top of triple here. Might get Tai Lu another freebie. And all of a sudden, you're cooking with gas. Summer's salvaged himself an AK. Well, you wouldn't want to lose it like this. No, but uh, it would be unsurprising. News <laughs> is the man that Marzali are waiting on at this point. Working his way through underpass. Smoke into window from Spawn from Zilkenberg to try to assist the man. Oh, MC. Beautiful. Love to see it. Actually, the bomb's going to head back towards the B side of the map. Slowly really wants this gun, doesn't he? Oh! 
It wasn't even the nade, but the nade would have done it from Mara. And he actually commits through the smoke and takes control of Palace. I don't think I would have expected that. Tyloo stacked on this A site. Dan King's orping over towards B. I don't know which poison I'd rather choose at this point. <laughs> That's a good point. And maybe the B site would have been the better choice because Attacker does clean Mara up nicely. A good strong crossfire here for Summer and Attacker. 22 seconds. They can't really go to B now. It has to be the commitment to A. Waiting for that player to come in through Connector. Somebody's got the info there on both accounts. But Attacker's gone down. They've got no idea where no. Summer is. He's going to get them all. No, not quite. Sogu salvages it and gets the bomb down in time. Dan King with a big clutch ahead of him here. One-on-one, -on -one, possibly to win the map. And he does get it against Sogu, one of the veterans of the Asian region, coming in as the new guy for Tyloo. At a big moment, that is a critical round. Up 14 and 13, a round that Tyloo had no business winning. Couple of guns uh, salvaged, and they take it away. But Marzali, plenty of money in the back pocket to be able to recover from that one, Jordan. They've still got, I'd say, this buy and one more after. Yeah, Tyloo not really afforded that luxury, going down to one player left alive. Mm. Definitely having to reinvest heavily in this round. So not a whole lot of money there. But they have the round advantage. There is that at least. Too close to tell. You really couldn't say which way this game is going to go. Tuck has been having a hell of a game in Connector here, by the way. as our lovely graphic would have shown. Yes, sir. Oh, no way that Zilkenberg's got away with that. Cursed him. Cast a curse. That is a cast a curse at its finest. So four and five, how does Tyloo negotiate this now? Do we see somebody pushing an extremity? It has to be him or somewhere, I would assume. I mean, if he pushes into mid, it's not really an extremity, is it? But... Somebody makes everything an extremity. That's a somebody-esque move if he were to do it. For now, he's holding. The only extremity that matters to somebody is the part, the extremity on his body that hits the P that is W. Ooh, well, he's that's the timing. Again. He just makes it work. So we're back to four on four. Zilkenberg's low. Things start to look like they might shift back in the favor of Tai Lu. Danking with so much utility over toward B. Posted on the line. Marzali, they're taking their time here. Zilkenberg could find the timing on somebody on the jump spot, but no, oh. two frags in the favor of Tai Lu. Yeah, Dan King waiting for more. Oh my God, he's been cleaned up by Sogu, but he did get the kill onto Machine Gun, importantly. So it's a one on three. Somebody's just going to creep forward here. Sogu might have heard him, but it won't matter. He's in a good position. 15 13 is up. It's now match point for Tai Lu. They are there once again, and this time, can they do it in regulation time? Can they ensure that Marzali are not being given that second opportunity? Last chance, backs against the wall for Marzali. They were behind on Dust2, and they still managed to push it into overtime, and they might have even been able to push it into another overtime. If you remember, had they closed out that three on two, let's see if they can come back from a deficit once again. Attack is actually shooting at Summer, which is not ideal. Start things off. Nope. It's a lover's quarrel. What else could it be after how long they've spent together? Old couple bickering. Mm. A bit like us, Jordan, really. Sure. Whatever you reckon. Mara going to smoke off the top of connector here. Molotov into the right side of window. Actually does land on top of attacker. And he's cleaned up too. Where the hell has that come from? In mid. 26 and 17. You've got to expect it at this point from attacker here on Mirage. He's having a blinder. He's applying pressure to the extremity over here towards B. Bomb still in T spawn for Marzali. Ooh. 1B 
from News. You love to see it. He got binked as well, to be fair. We're actually going to see News and Machine Gun finding those kills, and so all of a sudden we're back to three on three. Dan King misses the shot. Get the pistol out, son. He's on seven HP. Molly might be enough. He certainly isn't going to be able to get back into Palace. Maybe I lie. The Molly missed. The Orp doesn't. Either way, Tyloo now have the numbers advantage, and Dan King is keeping an eye on Connector. So he's got a good read on what is happening here. Still got to get the bomb from Spawn. News getting a little bit of a wriggle on. Oh, he's going to have to get quite a wriggle on. Oh, the timing for Zilk. He's actually slipped up Connector at the perfect time. Somebody in the left side of window, and it's a very passive setup in towards... Uh. <laughs> Hello, what's going on here? CT fake flashing with the bomb. Zilk, I think it's about to walk into the line of Dan Ooh. King. Nice little flick from him, and surely... Surely he just can't get happen. the bomb down. Well, he won't be able to now. Tyloo have won it. Even if somebody falls, Summer is too far away to find 